To football next, and the sports world governing body FIFA has upheld the results of the Nigeria Football Federation Executive Committee elections held last September that elected Amaju Pinnick as the Federation's president. Secretary General Jerome Valka said FIFA backs the outcome of the elections held in Wari and would meet the new president in due course. Well, we can now talk to the BBC sports journalist Olawashina Ojeleji about this. Olawashina, can you tell us the background to this case? Well, um, some aggrieved um, contestants from the last Nigerian Football Federation elections actually approached the appeals committee with an appeal saying that um, they had questions about um, the way and manner in which the election was conducted in Wari. And um, they said um, there were some um, irregularities concerning representative of FIFA not being present, representative of CAF not being present, as well as a representative of the regional body not being present. They also said um, the, 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 the election was conducted in a way that wasn't free and fair for all that participated in the election. And that's why um, they actually um, approached the appeals committee member saying they want the um, result from the election thrown out and they want a fresh election to be conducted by on what grounds did the appeals committee chairman ok ajunwa void the election even though four other members of the same committee upheld it but basically according to ajunwa he says that the other four members of the committee did not follow the rules and regulations as well as have um uh, i mean a clear verdict of what they were doing he said he wasn't present and he was surprised to hear that the other four members have actually upheld the election when in the recent of it, he as the chairman should have been the one to actually come up with the verdict. And he says in his own verdict and in his own um, submission, that election wasn't free and fair. The election should not um, be ratified by FIFA or anyone because there were many irregularities. And he said he was totally disappointed in his other four members. He continued to say um, the elections um, that brought in Amaju Pinik as president of the Nigerian Football Federation, Shehi Akemomi as vice president, and um, Felix Ayansi Agu should not um, be um, should not be ratified by FIFA. And he insists even if FIFA continue to ratify this election, he will take his, this matter beyond FIFA. He will go to the Court of Appeal for Sports in Switzerland, as well as take a legal action against um, FIFA as well as the Nigerian Football Federation. What does FIFA's backing say about the validation of these elections? I think it's thrown more confusion into Nigerian football because um, the way you look at it, there are still some people who believe that um, Nigerian Football Federation is actually in a total turmoil, and there are still um, some other another faction who are not happy with this. Remember, FIFA threatened to ban Nigeria before that um, suspension. FIFA has suspended Nigeria. They lifted the suspension. They threatened to ban the country completely. But they, they, I mean, they, they they just pulled out of that because um, the, the, the faction withdrew their case from court. So when you look at all of these, I don't think we've heard the last of this situation in Nigeria. I know quite well that from January, we'll probably get more problems facing the Nigerian football scene, as well as fans and, of course, the players. The country failed to qualify for the competition in, in Equatorial Guinea, and fans are unhappy. Then they still have to do um, problems in the, in the running of football in the country. So I had the last of these despite a FIFA, um, a FIFA ratification as well. Now, I understand the connection is a little bad, but before you go, a final question. What would you say are the main issues in Nigerian football Amaju Pinnick will have to address? Well, I think he has to unify um, a divided house. He has to unify a divided house. He also needs to actually um, get professionals in the running of affairs in Nigerian football. I think there are more political um, pol politicians involved in Nigerian football at the moment. Everyone is more interested in how much of their own image is put out there and not um, the good image of Nigerian football is being put. Come um, out on the federation saying the people there are not really good for football in the country. And I think some of the players too are unhappy with the way football is being run in the country. So you have uh, a situation where um, running of football uh, has been politicized and a lot of people are unhappy. And then um, you also have a divided house where you have other people who also want to um, be involved in Nigerian football by all means necessary. You don't care if the country suffer from 
to do it from, for, from their own um, angle. So no one really knows you know, in Nigeria at the moment. So there's so much confusion. And that's why the former Nigeria captain, um, Sunday Olise, has come out to say the future is bleak for Nigerian football if all these warring factions don't come together and sort out their differences. Olawashina, thank you. That was Olawashina Ojuleji speaking to Sports News Africa, and we apologize for those glitches in the middle due to poor connection.